Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another whiskey review. And this one is one we just got recently. This is the Woodford Reserve Batch Proof, 124.7 proof. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching, for liking, for commenting, for subscribing, for doing all the things. I'm gonna give you guys my real, true, honest thoughts on this bottle, like I always do. So first I gotta tell you a little story. We were at one of our friends, actually, we were hanging out with our friends. I think we were here at our house or their house. I can't remember. Anyways, we were hanging out with our friends and we were drinking. We had several pours before this, but we were drinking and hanging out and sharing whiskey, which is fantastic by the way. And then our friend brought this out and we tried it and we were blown away. We were like, this is really good. We don't normally buy Woodford Reserve. Like we've bought the double oaked, which I really like. We have had the regular Woodford Reserve and we tried their stuff at the distillery and I liked it. Bill didn't like it as much, but I really liked it. And it's surprising because it's actually usually really sweet, but definitely really liked it. Love Woodford Reserve Distillery, by the way, if you haven't been out there, oh my gosh, it is absolutely beautiful. One of the most beautiful like distilleries I've ever seen. So beautiful. Okay, off topic here. So anyways, we tried it, we really liked it, but it was obviously after a night of drinking. So it's hard to determine what I really thought of it at that moment in time. Like, was I just, you know, was it part of the experience? Was I, you know, liking it because I was part of my friend's group and I was drinking and having a good time? Or did I actually really like it? Well, long story short, or short story long, we stopped at a couple liquor stores a few days later and we found this bottle and we bought it. So it's, it's around $150. So it's an expensive bottle. So that's why I'm gonna tell you guys what I think of it and my true thoughts on it. And so that's what we're gonna do. So cheers to you. That was a long way around the story. Sorry, I hope you're still with me. Please don't leave. Okay, here we go. Cheers, let's do this. All right, like I said, this is 124.7 proof. Woodford batch proof. This is the one that just came out. So that's what I gotta say. Now, this is so dark. When you look at this, this is incredibly dark. Like, holy freaking moly, it's dark. And it's super viscous, it sticks on the glass, barely even runs down the glass, super thick. Reminds me of molasses on a glasses. glass. Okay, let's smell it. On the nose, oh, it smells like breakfast. It's, it smells like molasses and toffee, brown sugar, vanilla bean, bananas. Yeah, bananas foster French toast. That's what it smells like. Like syrupy, thick banana syrupy deliciousness. Syrupy, thick banana deliciousness. That was a line. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Anyhow, it smells fantastic. It smells very sweet. Does not burn the nose hairs. Kind of actually gives me old Forrester vibes, like the really banana old Forrester vibes, not the Laffy Taffy kind of banana, the breakfast fresh ripe banana that's dipped in syrup and it's on your French toast. A little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on there, maybe some toffee drizzle. Now that sounds pretty good. It smells like that. It smells like that, even lightly nutty, like toasted pecans. Yep, smells good. All right, let's taste it. Mm. Wow, you would not know the proof of that when you've tasted it. Like, it drinks way lower than the actual proof, at least in my opinion, it does. It's sweet and delicious all the way through. Some of those same notes that I was getting on the nose like come through very strong on the palate. The Banana Foster's French Toast, like butter even, there's some butter in there. This is breakfast in a glass. Toffee, like really, dark sweet notes even some oak let me taste it again it's rich it's very rich has some of that like cream soda tingle on the back end that i really like mm. overall this is actually really really good i'm so glad we ended up picking it up and we bought it after drinking it that night because I thought I was losing my mind. I was like, oh, I said I loved it, but did I actually like it? I don't know, but it was really good. And it's still really good. One more sip. Oh yeah. If you like bananas, toasted pecans, breakfast, molasses, toffee, vanilla bean, brown sugar, sweet. 
it's you're gonna like this you'll definitely like this it is a little bit warm on the very back end like at first I said it didn't really taste like proofy at all but it does on the back end it gives you that warm warm like tasty toastiness in the back of your throat but overall oh gosh it just reminded me of a s'more even a little bit of marshmallow in there yeah it's good overall it's good and that's why i'm gonna give it four corks out of five four corks out of five a good score now let's talk about something else this is a 150 dollars bottle you guys know at this point when you watch my videos that price does not go into my score i just score it based on nose palette and finish and that's what you get you get the score of what is inside the bottle you get the true goodness of the bottle or badness but in this case it's good four corks out of five that's a good score but what I don't count in is price, and that's something I want to talk about here. Price on this is $150, but to me, that's really expensive for what's inside this bottle. To me, this is easily a $100 bottle all day, but $150, I'm really like, I'm having a hard time with how expensive this is. I don't know if, I well, I don't know. I wouldn't, I would not buy another bottle at $150 of this. If it was $100, sure. $150, no. So that's my thoughts on it. I can't tell you how much to spend on a whiskey because price is different for everybody. But what I can say is, in my opinion, this is a good whiskey and it tastes great and it's, it's worth trying. So what I say here is try it before you buy it. And if you have the money to spend on it, go spend it on it. But if you don't quite have the money or you're saving up for a good bottle, be sure to try it first and then you can go buy it. That's my thoughts. That's what I think. So I'm going to be done rambling now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker. Oh, awesome. Let me know if you've tried it and what you think of it. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you later.